I haven't been awake for very long. You know that feeling when you first wake up and your brain hasn't quite turned on all the way? I call that zombie mode. It's always like the first 30 minutes of your day. Zombie mode. Blech, caffeine. Get it instead of brains? <coughs> well, that was a great start. So in my last video, I talked about going to see Rogue One. And I did. The pilot wasn't any good. Well, guys, the truth is, it was really great. Seriously, I really enjoyed it. Good job, Gareth Edwards and co. Honestly, I could probably write an essay with all my thoughts about that movie, but overall, really liked it. Go see it. Or don't. I don't care. And that reminds me of another thing I wanted to talk about. Going to the movie theater by yourself. I used to be terrified of going to the movie theater by myself. But I tried it for the first time earlier this year when I went to see The Hateful Eight, and it's not bad. Which is another great movie. If you haven't seen The Hateful Eight, I highly suggest it. The pacing is fantastic. It is typical Quentin Tarantino stuff, though, so expect lots of... So anyways, here's a bunch of reasons why going to the movie theater by yourself is actually pretty awesome. If you're like me, you too are a socially awkward introvert who spends most of his time alone in his basement talking to a camera. And if that's the case, then maybe the reason you haven't gone to a movie theater by yourself is the fear of having to... Ugh, interact with... other people. Ugh. Gross. Yeah, just the thought. Here's the thing, though. People go out to bars and clubs to do weird things like... introduce themselves and have pleasant conversation. People go to a movie theater to... watch a movie. They're not here to talk to you, which is great. 99% of the time, people aren't even going to acknowledge your existence, and that other 1% is just the person you're buying the ticket from, or popcorn, or the friendly bathroom attendant if your movie theater happens to be really fancy. Speaking of other people being bitter disappointments, when you go to a movie theater with other people, you've got to coordinate your schedules. you got to make sure that you choose a day that everybody's off, or during a time where nobody's working, you got to get babysitters, you got to do this thing, you got to just... It's complicated. But the nice thing about going to a movie theater by yourself, you're by yourself. You go whenever you want. Bruh. Which leads me to my next point. If you can go whenever you want, I highly suggest you go earlier in the morning, especially on a weekday. A lot of people who frequent movie theaters are high schoolers. Ugh. Ugh. Dealing with teenagers is just as gross as talking to normal people. Early in the morning on a weekday, all those people are going to be in school. And because we're adults who can make our own responsible decisions, then we can go to a movie theater whenever we want. Which leads me to another point. Going early means there's a very small amount of people there. You can sit wherever you want. You don't have to climb over people to get to the best seat. You don't have to try to rush there 45 minutes early in order to make sure that you get at least somewhat of a decent seat. You just walk in and sit. Now it might sound like I'm just trying to minimize the amount of human interaction I have in a day, and if that's the case, let me reassure you that that's exactly right. Now if you'll excuse me, I have people to avoid. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm by myself. Honestly, I could probably write an essay. Oh my god, I have a burp. Hold on. That wasn't it. It came, came out in pieces. Speaking of other people being did, did or disappointments. 